today. We have an action-packed day. That's why we had to start it off at 8 a.m. We're going out to Warrington, a little power build three check-in with the GC, running through kind of the remaining detailed plan. Obviously all of the main stuff's been discussed, but go over some of the details because they're, they're moving along now. Full steam ahead, should see some decent updates in this video. Following that, we're going to find Powerboat 4. So we're going from three to a potential four. What I need from you is like door and glass schedule. Yeah. So I know how to frame them walls right there. Yeah. And I need to know, what, we what are we doing there? up top for like a ramp? I was thinking knee wall. Like shapes or whatever. There'll be some seating. You have like some To have the front door for the store here because the front desk staff will obviously be over there for the majority of the time, so then they can kind of ideally like a double door, like glass, something that we can just like prop open, leave open during the day when there are staffed hours. A double door and a third block out. All right. Like, this is going to have saunas in here on the left, right? Yeah. So you don't want the door on the left, that's where the, the plans happen on the left. Yeah. So, where would you, what do you want? Maybe what kind of door do you want here? Maybe if we could keep the door, maybe in like kind of more middle. Yeah, I mean, if we can keep it towards towards the middle. I mean, just post. Yeah, had it, to be in the middle. Yeah, even if it's like right here, because then we could probably do our massage chairs, kind of like angled, boom, 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 and then we'll probably do. We have these two other normal tech like. Uh, yeah, so they plug in as well. Yeah, so three plugs. Sure. Here, yeah. this will all be walled off. Like, yeah. We'll probably have like one big TV on the wall. Absolutely. Yeah, because then, I mean, the, then the middle would just end up being like the lounge workstation area, and like that would still be more than enough for what we want to do. Right. Yeah, I would leave them. On. I would leave them on there. Yeah, I think the stairs there, and then. You know, you'll, have, you'll still have your walkway in the front, but we'll have that back space and an office area all the way down there, and then you have still this huge middle area for... Yeah. My idea is like posing room right, have it up top. Yeah, because it's a higher ceiling. Yeah, because so. obviously you're going to need the space for the stairs wherever wherever they're at. But I think over here probably makes the most sense, because then it just doesn't fuck up yeah, anything yeah. out front, and it'll just like look a little cleaner. Yeah. But if you come up, you'll have like the walkway out front, but like if the posing room was like from even like this all the way down to about like a third into the recovery lounge, then over. Now we just need to figure out what, what we're putting above it. The thing I was thinking, right, is when you, so when you come in, obviously, straight on from the door, you're gonna have the turf. It'll be like spanning it here. So my goal was like the stack logo sign right up there. So it's just like a visual like, wow, you're like entering yeah, fucking they used to it right there. And then, like a majority of the dumbbells are going to probably start about here and go all the way down. So then you could have like another, some type of art over there. Yeah. Because like the turf and then all the bodybuilding stuff, it'll kind of like divide that. Yeah. Although it looks like as one section now because the mirrors are there. But once yeah. you, once the equipment's here, I think it'll make more sense. And then also when we have events, this will be where the platforms go. So then like, oh, behind there, exactly, yeah. you'll always have like the stacked yeah, logo yeah, because yeah. the platforms will literally be set up like boom, boom. Yeah. If you're ever at an event here, you're like, you'll know where you're at. I think the thing I'm most excited about is just having like shit like organized. Yeah, no, yeah. Like just like dialed Symmetric. in. Symmetric. Yeah. Yes. Back nice. row, leg row, yeah. chest row. Yeah. Like you know row. where everything's at. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You guys are planning on a fitness center, I believe? Yep. Gold right. yeah. boxes, right? Yeah. This shit's like old. Probably yeah. having just like. I think that's the Atlantis order there. Yeah, oh yeah, Canada. Hey! That's the old girl, <laughs> dog. It's a tank. What's up, man? Colin, where the fuck is your hoodie? Are you not cold, bro? Nah, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, that's for sure. Oh, shit! <laughs> I literally... 
fell for like 10 seconds. I, I, said, I had enough time to literally turn around and you were just still yeah. falling. Apparel, apparel, supplements. I think one of those things in the middle, it was like kind of like islands where it has like the tiers. You know, you go like champs. You do like different you know, like stuff. the mannequins on it. Something like that. And that could be like, you could have like a mannequin yeah. in the middle or like the gear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Different. Do you have equipment for uh, pick up this crew? You have I tools do. for it? Yeah, I have tools. Yeah, yeah it's but... not like Halloween. This will definitely be a two man job. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get after it here. Consideration, people might have to move this shit at some point so they have that little rise at the bottom. You don't get that with all equipment brands. Might not even need to, brother. You guys know us. Strictly American made. Except Atlantis. Because at least they're North American made. And this shit. Yeah, yeah, and uh, but this is, I mean, this shit, beautiful. I don't want every power build to look cookie cutter. If you notice, Conchi has its own vibe. KOP has its own vibe. Warrington, it's gonna have its own vibe. Obviously, you're always gonna get that power build, kind of like raw, gritty feel, but we're also providing the highest quality equipment as well, so. We don't want to use like a gritty environment to be like dirty and fucking shitty equipment, but we always want to maintain that like authentic culture to lifters. This is gonna be our masterpiece. Watch. <laughs> There's definitely a full weight stack on this bad boy. the guys go off. This order is now in. Next week, Arsenal shows up. I mean, that's really it, right? Then that, and then what they really are trying to do is like, there's like the AV guys have to come in and the security guys. Security comes tomorrow. AV is supposed to come, I think in like a week or two. And I'm just thinking like, in reality, it's like, and at least we gotta like start from over here, get the gym floor down. That way we can start setting yeah, up like, slowly shit. but surely. Yeah. Dude, this feels nuts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, I've been wanting to run a crow. Like Farkistan. Yeah. I feel like a new car. I couldn't even breathe my chest in that pad. Oh man, this just feels like it's supposed to feel. Like, I just, I'm gonna literally have 30 inch fucking biceps. I'm like trying to slim down. I know I am. This is a big boy. Wow. This is how you guys get up uh, to the mezzanine. <laughs> you, hey, you're all signing the waiver. Fuck it. Hell yeah. And then I think Where, I have, Yeah, where's the posing room? Oh, to that blue line, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so then you'll have, like, easily, you get, like, Maybe we do like couch, couch, couch. Do like a fucking big U. Mm. Could do like and a U TV of couches. There. Yeah. TV. Monster TV. And then have this wall. Table. Like obviously we'll need a walkway. Oh yeah. But then there could be like workstation table here to here. And then obviously like door. And then we could maybe even do like another workstation over here or something like that. We're back at it. Banner couldn't withhold Mother Nature. <laughs> it's a good day's work. That is one clean motherfucking dumbbell. Holy shit! Wow, that's fucking huge. That is big as fuck. 75. Interesting. I wonder how the fucking 200s look. 
it's hot day. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it feels good. We're still working on getting the outdoor space. <clears throat> and way back when we were talking about it, we were like, hey, we were, you know, we, we want to utilize outdoor space, blah, blah, blah. It's an additional 3,000 square feet. They were like, okay, cool. Like, we're going to give you a reduced rate. But it, it was still not, like, great. It was still expensive as fuck. So we're like, we can only use the outdoor space for, like, half the year, maybe. But it is fucking going to be sick. So then we revisited the conversation just this last week. Landlord came back and he's like, yeah, it's the same cost per square foot as the inside. I'm like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You can only use the outside for so long. But then I went back to him, gave him a number, 3,500 extra a month to get this outdoor space. And his response was yes, but if somebody else would come in and say they would like, I don't know, I don't know. If somebody would want to come in and be like, yeah, we're going to use this, this space. They would probably have to rebuild the thing from the ground up. They could take it from us in 90 days. So my response was, okay, but if we already have the space and you have somebody that's interested that wants to come in, we get like the first right of refusal. That way, yeah, maybe the cost goes up for us, but then we still keep it. So it's just a chess match. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. My problem is it's not really a chess match. It's like... It's more of like a fucking wrestling match and you're a toddler fighting John Jones and they just kick the shit out of you all the time because they have all the money and all the leverage and they don't give a fuck. What he said. <laughs> <laughs>